VHS camera. It's the year 2020. And I have no idea how to make this stuff really work. But it seems to be working. Because I'm watching myself on the TV. I had to mute it because there was feedback. Um, it wasn't so bad because the speakers on the TV are tiny. But uh, this is good. This is good progress. For some reason, I have to play the tapes that I record on this camera, from this camera. Because I tried two VCRs here, and it was like a big, gnarly, staticky bar. And, you know, I mean, people are selling these VHS After Effects packs like crazy. But uh, VHS wasn't always just glitching all the time. I mean, I remember it as a, as a kid. It... Uh, I don't remember it glitching that much. And when it did, you were sad. It wasn't that cool of a thing, so... Um, there's usually like a bar of glitch down at the bottom that I think we just ignored back in the VHS days because it was just at the bottom, but... Uh, so here it goes. An experiment in uh, CRT televisions, VHS, video, and... I have, um, <laughs> just, let me just get into it. Got a bunch of these little guys. Let's see if you can. Ooh. HDMI to AV. I have the other one to go the other direction. And then I have, uh, um, one of those analog, or no, it's an HDMI video game recording gadget. So it records the HDMI to a USB. So, <laughs> hopefully I can successfully bounce out animations from After Effects to VHS and then back into the computer. That's the, that's the whole plan here. But uh, this is a nice perk, you know, I mean it looks pretty good, I think, for VHS. I think, I think there's a video out there. VHS, better than you don't remember. It's like some spin-off of a Tecmo video. But, uh, the cassette one, which, uh, don't even get me started on cassettes. <laughs> we'll pull the Tascam out later. But, uh, this is, uh, my first test, so. Welcome. Enjoy.